Hey, and your time is just before 447 here on your Tuesday morning. Yes, we are watching the tropics. Of course, Hurricane Agatha now tropical storm Agatha made landfall in Mexico continues to weaken winds now down to 45 miles per hour, so it's barely a tropical storm and notice really getting shredded by the mountainous terrain and just moving over land. But notice still a lot of moisture and showers and storms heading northeast. Those are the storms that pocket of moisture and whatever's left of Agatha that could redevelop uh, in the next coming days as it gets closer to the Yucatan Peninsula, maybe the Gulf or maybe even the Northwest Caribbean. So the chance of development does continue to go up for this zone right in here uh, all the way from the Yucatan up through South Florida as we go into the end of the work week. Notice chances are now up to 60%. This will probably continue to go up. The big question right now is what tries to consolidate and come back together with this large area of showers and storms. We've got an area of showers and storms here closer to the center of circulation of Agatha, but notice we've got also a burst of storms off the coast of um, Belize and the Yucatan Peninsula there in Mexico. So there's still a big question on what tries to come together. And of course, whatever tries to come together is going to determine the final outcome of this potential tropical system. Now the steering currents with all this is going to bring whatever tries to redevelop north and east towards the Florida Peninsula. It's thanks to this trough that's digging down over the Gulf of Mexico. This is in the upper levels and that's pulling this moisture and whatever tries to really develop north and east towards Florida. There's also a ridge of high pressure sitting down in the Caribbean, so that'll slide north and east, keeping it away from the northern Gulf Coast. So rain chances will be higher towards Florida this weekend. Fortunately, also with the trough like this, this is probably going to be a sheared system. And yes, the Gulf is hot, but you got to have a lot more than the hot temperatures of the water. There's going to be a lot of wind shear and dry air as well, so should keep it mainly a rainmaker. First name on the list for the 2022 hurricane season is Alex. We'll see if we get a name later on this week. All right.